All right, it's that time. Welcome everyone to the 2020 Student Leadership and Involvement Awards Ceremony. This year's virtual awards ceremony coordinated by the Office of Student Life is intended to recognize the accomplishments of our student organizations and our student leaders here at the home of the Renegades. This event which is an annual student leadership recognition award ceremony at the college is a chance for all registered student organizations and student leadership to present their achievements to the rest of the college community and to be recognized by their accomplishments. It is an opportunity for them to show their wide variety of talent, of activity, and involvement and dem demonstrate their ingenuity and creativity. Hello, I'm Nikki Damania, the Director of Student Life at Bakersfield College. Thank you for joining us tonight. Please note, today's ceremony is recorded and is streaming live on Facebook Live. We're really excited for the over 120 people who have joined us here today. This is a great achievement for not just shining out quite a few of our renegades, but also our faculty and staff who shine their light and love for college education. Let's go to the next screen. Let's go. Yes, okay. Today's agenda is as follows. I am your Masters of Ceremony. We will have a welcome address by our Vice President of Instruction, congratulatory remarks from our outgoing Director of Athletics. We'll do scholarship presentations, student award presentations, student organization presentations, faculty leadership presentations, and then we'll close up our evening with us today. Next slide. Just some housekeeping notes for us. Please ensure that your mic is muted at all times. Please make your videos off at all times, unless you're in a nominee during your award only, if you wouldn't mind shining your video so we can see your bright and shining faces. As mentioned, this ceremony tonight will be recorded and is currently streaming on Facebook Live. We have about 11 people on Facebook Live and over 120 here with us in the Zoom room. When appropriate, you can use the clap or the thumbs up button in your reactions of the Zoom. We encourage you to add comments and congratulatory statements in the chat box. We will be monitoring the chat box as well at all times. Enjoy this time to reflect upon each other and be proud of being a, home, a member of the home of our renegades. This is such an exciting time. And even though we have moved ourselves to a virtual environment, I am so happy and excited that so many of you are taking the time to see us and reflect upon us this year. I would like to call upon our Vice President of Instruction, Ms. Billy Jo Wright, to give us a welcoming address. Good evening, everybody, and thank you, Nikki, for inviting me to this auspici auspicious occasion. I am Billy Jo Rice, the Vice President of Instruction. And on behalf of President Christian and the executive team at Bakersfield College, I want to congratulate all of you for your achievements and dedication to maximizing your involvement here at the Home of the Renegades. Bakersfield College is so proud to recognize so many students that have went beyond the requirements of earning your degrees. It is an honor to witness your level of engagement, not only in your academic studies, but also your participation in co-curricular activities to maximize that student experience. You've gained leadership knowledge and skills to help carry you into the future. 
including an array of experiences from academic research, student employment, athletic competitions, student organization involvement, and community service. As we participate in this virtual awards ceremony, I recognize that we are living in historical times, but it is renegades like you, juggling home life, juggling work life, juggling your school life, that keeps Bakersfield College vibrant, energetic, and truly the greatest place to be. Once again, on behalf of President Christian and the executive team at Bakersfield College, congratulations to all of you and your hard-earned achievements. I know that this is your first step of many to a great future. Congratulations, and back to you, Dr. Demania. Thank you, VP Wright, for that presentation. Next, we will go on to our congratulatory remarks. By our, I'm sad to say this, and I've tried so much to convince her to stay on, but our outgoing Director of Athletics and Dean of Kinesiology, Ms. Sandy Tehiller. Sandy, did we get you on? I'm unmuted, but I can't seem to start the video, so. <clears throat> Let me, uh... There you go. Ah. I'm... All right, can we, can you see me? I don't know if you can or not. Anyway, th pardon me? We can see you. Great, thank you. Thanks for having me tonight. Um, you know, I never imagined that I would be here 30 years after starting at Bakersfield College, but um, what an honor it is to give a few remarks tonight to all of the student leaders that we have at Bakersfield College. Um, you know, I was just talking about the other day before Nikki asked me to be a part of this program to that how amazing the work that our student life and our student organizations have done, the work that you've done is just incredible, um, especially during a pandemic. I mean, the pandemic can't even hold you back, right? You guys are just awesome. Um, I just wanted to say a few things tonight about um, some of the things that have happened in my tenure. I, you know, I started out as a, as a kid not ever even imagining that I could be in the world of athletics. I, um, you know, I'm just, a, I'm the example of what you can do when it's not even available. I mean, athletics didn't start until I was a junior, senior in high school. Um, I was fortunate to play at College of the Sequoias in their first and second year of even hosting athletics for women. And that's just hard to believe and still rather surreal that I am the athletic director at Bakersfield College. What an honor it has been. I am um, very proud of all the work that you all have put in. And just to, you know, sort of reminisce the things that you can accomplish, this is not the, this is the first of your milestones. It's certainly not gonna be your last. Um, anything you dream of, you can accomplish. I don't know what happened. It said the recording stopped, Nikki, just in case. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to talk about how, how amazing it is to watch your students succeed. And you guys are the epitome of success with all the work that you've put in. Um, whether we see students out in the community or on social media or um, at an event to hear about the stories and the things and the successes that people have made in their lives, um, that's the reason why Bakersfield College faculty and staff do the work that we do. Um, it's exactly the reason why I've spent 37 years in education trying to make a little bit of an impact on a student's life and hope that they can achieve their dreams. Um, it's the best feeling ever to watch someone meet a goal um, as a softball coach, watching somebody uh, get that hit that they've been working so hard to get, uh, watching our athletes in competition as the athletic director. I've said this often, I never imagined how hard it would be as an athletic director to watch your student athletes handle adversity, 
much like all of you have dealt with this spring and all of us with this world that we are in right now. But, you know, adversity makes us stronger. And I have no doubt that all of you are going to continue to lead. You have the skills as leaders. You've shown it to be able to achieve whatever you would like to achieve in your life. One of the quotes that I used often in my career was a Walt Disney quote. And he, he says, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. And I live that because um, I had a dream about what my future would be in the world of athletics, being a, a woman, a young child, a young girl growing up when we didn't have athletics. And so dreams are really important. And I've been living the dream I've been living the dream at Bakersfield College for 30 years, and it is very much um, the best part of my life is being a renegade when it comes to being able to show people what you can do if you just dream it, you can achieve it. And I really appreciate the opportunity to talk tonight. Um, giving speeches are hard enough, much less in the world that we're living in right now in the Zoom world. I'm sure you all are getting used to that as well. But I'm telling you, you guys, this is the, just the beginning for all of you. It's not the end. It's not the last uh, milestone. It is just the beginning. Your future is ahead of you. And with your leadership skills, I have no doubt that you're going to do great things. And we look forward to hearing about it. We hope you come back and share it with us uh, and celebrate your successes with us as Renegades. Go Gates. All right, thank you very much. I'm trying to get Thank you very much, Coach Taylor. It's been a pleasure working with you. And on behalf of Bakersfield College, we wish you the best in your retirement. Don't don't miss us too much. And if you want to come back, don't worry. We'll find something for you to do. <laughs> All right. So now to go on to our meat of our presentations, the awards. And I do want to take a quick moment and say thank you to everyone who submitted in your nomination. Uh, it, is, it was definitely the most nominations we have received for all categories this year. Uh, but unfortunately, we always have to make the, the deciding factor of which ones become a finalist and which ones become the final recipient. And I want to thank all our judges in the rubrics that we've had to to place all our recipients today. No matter if you're a recipient or if you are a finalist or have just been nominated, uh, you make Bakersfield College the vibrant community that it is. Uh, and I saw Samantha pop herself off again, so I was just about to introduce her. There you go. Oh, she popped herself back in. All right, so talking about wonderful renegades that we have, uh, our person who will present the first slew of awards our scholarships through the foundation office and the office of financial aid uh, samantha polito is serving as your current bakersville college student government association president which i've had the honor to be a part of her life and engagement so without that without her leadership and her dedication to our students a lot of the measures that we do would not have been fulfilled with that i turn it over to president polito Thank you, Dr. Demania, and thank you for your kind words. I just want to say before I start uh, that congratulations to everyone. I'm very proud of everyone here. Um, I, I want to thank you for inspiring me every day with your hard work and leadership, and thank you for inspiring all students. Um, um, thank you for your hard work as a renegade, and we are all winners because we are all leaders, and we are a renegade family because we are BC. Um, so moving on to the scholarship awards. Um, the first scholarship award is the Grace Van Dyke Bird Award, Emerging Leader of um, the Year Award. And the nominees are Luis Orojo. Um, sorry if I mispronounce um, your name. Zoraya, Zoraya Hall. Edward Hedera. Seth Newsom. Jessica Perez, Denise Portillo. So for the Grace Van Dyke Bird Award, the candidates for this scholarship are first year students 
who exhibit leadership skills by engaging in the Bakersfield College community and have sought out opportunities to get involved. Given annually to one freshman student attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service, and overall accomplishments while a student attending Bakersfield College. So the recipient for the Grace Van Dyke Bird Award is Luis Orojo. Lewis certainly did not wait once becoming a renegade and has shown what a student with drive and determination can do. He has have given so much while holding himself to a high standard. We can't wait to see what he does next. Congratulations, Luis. Now, moving on to the next scholarship award is the alumni and Alumni Association Honor Trophy Emerging Leader of the Year Award. Again, sorry if I uh, mispronounce your name. <laughs> so the nominees for this award are Mario Esquire, Esquire, um, Isario Hernandez, Marky Hernandez, Melissa Prendes, Gonzalo Roncha Vasquez, Ines Solis, Hisham Tahi. For this award, the Alumni Associ Association Honor Trophy, candidates for this scholarship are second year students who exhibit leadership skills by engaging in the Bakersfield College community and have sought out opportunities to get involved. Given annually to one, one sophomore student attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service and overall accomplishments while a student attaining, attending Bakersfield College. And the recipient for this honor, um, Alumni Associate, Association Honor Trophy is Marky Hernandez. Congratulations. Move, um, and Marky loves to be a renegade and demonstrates this by doing um, their best day in and day out and to never lose their path. There is a bright future ahead of them after BC and will certainly make an impact. Thank you, Marky. Moving on to the Jack Bring Bringham Scholarship, which was established in 2018. The, ja um, the nominees for this scholarship is, again, sorry if I mispronounce your name, <laughs> Anna Akin, Sandra Ca Casanon, Oscar Camocho, Samantha Polido, Gonzalo Roncha Vasquez, Denis Widger. For the Jack Bring Bringham Scholarship is awarded annually to one student attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service, and overall accomplishments while a student attending Bakersfield College. The recipient for the Jack Bringham Scholarship is Oscar Camocho. Congratulations. Oscar was nominated per, um, purely because he emphasized um, he shows what being a renegade is all about. Not only focusing on their studies, he gives so much back to the community and shows so much love to all. Thank you so much, Oscar. Moving on to the next award is the BCSGA Previously Incarcerated Scholarship, which, which was established in 2019. So the nominees for this scholarship are Khalid Baraj, um, Gilberto Gateras, Martin Cortez, Devin Palmore, Tiana Schrock, Miguel Vasquez. Candidates for this scholarship are returning students who exhibit leadership skills by engaging in the Bakersfield College community and have sought out opportunities to get involved. Given annually to one personally incarcerated student attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service, and overall accomplishments while a student attending Bakersfield College. The recipient for this award is Tiana Schwach. She defied the odds and was determined not to be a statistic after her time being incarcerated. She, was, she is now on the Dean's List and plans to open up a brick and um, nonprofit, which will be as a rehab, rehab center for um, women. Thank you, Tiana. Moving on to the next award is the BCSGA Single Parent Scholarship Award established in 2019. 
the nominees for this award are Alicia McCarrot Barfield, Rosario um, Benitz, Daniela Martinez, Brianna McGill. Candidates for this scholarship are students who are single income parents exhibiting leadership skills by engaging in the Bakersfield College community and have sought out opportunities to get involved. Given annually to one single parent student attaining attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service, and overall accomplishments while a student attending Bakersfield College. The recipient for the BCSGA Single Parent Scholarship is Rosario Benitz. She has really shown what, it's been, what it means to be a mother and a student, and every day she strives to be the best of both worlds. Her pursuit of her education is all for the future and making it bright for her family. Thank you. And moving on to the um, next and last scholarship, the BCSGA LGBT scholarship, which is uh, new this year, 2020. Can, um, the following nominees for this award are Gilberto Coteres and Eric Plata Torres. Candidates for this scholarship are students who self-identified as a member of the sexual and gender minor minority community, otherwise known as the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and trans identity community. Each candidate um, exhibits leadership skills by engaging in the Bakersfield College community and has sought um, out opportunities to get involved. Giving, given annually to an LGBT plus student attaining the highest standards of leadership, citizenship, service, and overall accomplishments while a student attending Bakersfield College. The recipient for the BCSGA LGBT scholarship is Eric Plata Torres. Eric just lights up the room with his voice and always willing to help and become a part of something. This is shown by his involvement with BCSGA and with the census. And if he could say one thing, it would be do the census and be counted. Great words, Eric. And that concludes the scholarship awards. Thank you, police, uh, President Polito, for that. Uh, just a quick reminder for everyone, uh, if you are a nominee, please feel free to open up your video so that we can see your bright and shining faces. We want to really recognize each of you for your parts. So if you are a nominee or a recipient for tonight, can you please open your videos for one of the uh, scholarships that were awarded? These scholarships are all awarded uh, through financial aid and our uh, foundation office. Each of the scholarship is in worth of $500 to be given out in two segments of $250 through the finance, financial aid portion. This is our very competitive scholarship uh, throughout the year, and each year I am proud to say that BCSGA raises enough money to continue on and develop a new scholarship. Next year's scholarship will yet to be defined by the student government as to which category and the personnel for it. So once again, this is another opportunity for our students to engage in each other. So congratulations once again to our recipients of the scholarship, the Grace Van Dyke Scholarship recipient. Uh, sorry, lost my place in my. Uh, Luis Arroyo, Alumni Honor Trophy, Mark Key Hernandez, Jack Brigham Scholarship, Oscar Camacho, Previously incarcerated BCSGA Scholarship, Tayana Twank. BCSGA Single Parent Scholarship, Rosio Benita Tez. And BCSGA LGBT Scholarship, Eric Plata Torres. Congratulations, you all, you are amazing. And all the no uh, nominees as well. All right, we'll go on to our next categories, which are our student leadership awards categories presented by Mr. Benny Balderrama, our program manager for student life. Hello, and I will be presenting the Student Leadership Awards. I'm also doubling as your Facebook streamer, so 
please, if you haven't gotten to the Zoom yet, just go to our BCSGA Facebook page and view the stream from there. So this service award, candidates for this award are students whose behavior embraces civic responsibility and service to the community on a campus, local, regional, national, or global level. This individual has given of their time, talent, and efforts to contribute to the common good. And now remember, if you see your name, please uh, turn on your videos so we can see your faces. So the nominees are Jesus Arias, Mar Mariah Chavez, Jackie Gutierrez, Sabrina Franco, Edith Mata, Priscilla Mendez, Nicole Nix, Mary Val Serban, Caleb Reed, and a special group, the Renegade Hub students, Mallory Gardner, Marcus Schmidt, Reyna Garcia, and Joseph Charmley. And the award goes to Maribel Servin. Maribel has been an unstoppable force when it comes to diversity issues, academic excellence, and community engagement. Maribel was instrumental in the Relay for DACA events in Kern County and has petitioned many community and political leaders in Kern County to consider the policies affecting undocumented students. Now moving on to the Renegade Spirit Award. Candidates for this award are student leaders who bring spirit and enthusiasm to the Bakersfield College community through their involvement on campus. Nominees are Sarah Gary, Jasmine Herrera, Juliana Herrera, Jonathan Hunter, Eric Plata Torres, Vladimir Romilis, Nashara Smith, and Ian Spark. And the award goes to Jasmine Herrera. The nominator said, I nominated her because she is always helping out with any problems anyone has about Bakersfield College and volunteers her time no matter what. In addition, she is extremely involved as she is currently the treasurer of both Lupe and Latinas, Latinas Unidas, as well as the Secretary of Mecha. And we don't have one, but two. The second winner is Eric Blata Torres. Nominator said, Eric, I nominated Eric because he has shown his renegade spirit through many clubs and having the spunk of excitement to every meeting and activity throughout Lupe and BCSGA. Now we move on to the Good Samaritan Award. The Good Samaritan Award is given to a student who has gone above and beyond the call of duty for the public safety and community welfare for the campus at large. The nominees are Julian De La Torre, Antara Jackson, Tyler Marks, Fishnabit Kariar, I apologies for that, Karen Kidd. And the award goes to Antero Jackson. Nominator said every day he would arrive early and ensure, ensure the department was ready for its operations, doing everything from checking the carts, preparing the office, and ensuring his uniform and personal appearance reflected the image he has helped us be him be to become known for. Now when I arrive to work, I am sad to not see him here, already working hard to get us ready for the day. I say this because Sally, just a few weeks ago, his young life was violently cut short. It was a young person trying to make a life for himself, to be a protective member of the community. The truth, he was already all of those things. I am nominating him for this award and to pay tribute to a young man to give his all to his team, to his college, and to his community. Now we move on to the most valuable renegade. 
Candidates for this award are intercollegiate student athletes who through their involvement at Bakersfield College have made significant contributions to the quality of life for their fellow athletes. Here are your nominees. Aurora Fernandez, women's soccer. Christian Gonzalez, men's soccer. Jonathan Hunter, wrestling. Justin Harrington, football. Nishara Smith, track and field. Penelope Sapita, women's volleyball. And award goes to Christian Gonzalez. In the 2019-20 year, Christian helped lead the men's soccer team to the team's first ever WSC conference championships in program history. A two-year starter, he has actively participated in the student athlete advisory committee and at the conclusion of the season, he was named the 2019 WSC South Co-Defensive Player of the Year. In addition, he was named to the 2019 WSC South First Team, 2019 Triple C AA South Region Team, and the 2019 Triple C AA State Team. This coming fall, he is headed to go to school and play soccer at Humboldt State University. And our second winner is Penelope Sapita, women's volleyball. In 2019-20 year, Penelope has led the women's volleyball team to their fourth straight WSC conference title and into the second round of the Triple C AA state playoffs. A two-year starter and active participant in the student athlete advisory committee. At the conclusion of the 2019 season, she was named the WSC South Conference Player of the Year. In addition, she was named to the 2019 Volleyball Coaches Association, second team All-American, 2019 California Community College Athletics Association, first team All-State, and the 2019 Southern California first team All-State. This coming fall, she is headed to go to school and play volleyball at Western Oregon University. Now we move on to the Student Employee of the Year. The Student Employee of the Year is awarded to an outstanding student in recognition of an exceptional contribution to their office or department during the academic year. Nominees are Liham Hiario, Delano Tutoring Center, Adam Martinez, Student Employment, Armandina Alanis, Career Education, Jessica Suarez, Admissions and Records, Kaya Kyra Sapan, Student Success and Equity, Liam Bohana, Choir Department, Marilyn Sabal, Delano Campus, Pedro Crota, EOPNS, Vanessa Rocha, CTE, and Xavier Garcia, Financial Aid. An award goes to Pedro Corta. Pedro's strong work ethics stand out from the rest of his peers. Pedro is polite and respectful of his staff and peers. Outside of work, he's a full-time student, active member of the Lupe Student Organization, and is a soccer coach for the Community Girls League team. Pedro is an exemplary employee, role model, and deserving of the recognition for his hard work. And our second winner is Liham Hirario. She has worked in the Delano Campus Tutoring Center as a tutor for over two years and gifted us with her calm, giving, intelligent presence. She tutors many different subjects based on recommendations by professors. Once she offers her assistance, she will remain engaged until the task is completed. Once she, once she, she is remarkable. Please honor this amazing young lady by awarding her the Student Employee of the Year. And now we get down to the President's Leader of the Year Award. Candidates for the President Leadership Ship award has excelled as student leaders with a distinguished award of extraordinary leadership, service, spirit, advocacy, and involvement within the college community. Recipients have a history of positive and significant accomplishments. 
resulting in major contributions that enhance the quality of life at the college. We have two nominees this year. We have Jose Ballo from the Youth Empowering Success, and we have Samantha Pulido, outgoing president of BCSGA. And the award goes to Samantha Polito. Samantha is a true BC renegade. She is a great leader and the BCSGA president. She always finds a way to connect with her fellow renegades and with her busy schedule. She is a great mentor to many students and I truly appreciate all the work she has done during her time as the BCSGA president. And thank you and just take time for everyone who's just listed as winners and congratulate them. Wonderful, thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh. You are All right, can you hear me? I'm having some technical difficulties on my side, but I will work on that. Uh, next we have is our incoming BCSJ president, vice president elect, Emma McNellis, presenting the student organization awards. Thank you for the introduction, Nikki. Hello, everyone. So we're going to get started on the Student Organization Award. Starting first with the Renegade Spirit Award. So the recipient of this award will be a registered student organization that brings both spirit and enthusiasm to the Bakersfield College community through their programs and activities. The nominees for this award were the Consent Project, the Japanese Culture Club, Latinas Unidas, Latinos Unidos por Educación, Student Nursing Association, and the Youth Empowering Success Organization. And the recipient of the Renegade Spirit Award goes to Latinos Unidos por Educación. So the nominator for, for Lupe wrote that Lupe is a committed student organization showing great support for all students here at Bakersfield College. Being a dreamer or AB 540, Lupe was there to support and motivate me regardless of my status in this country. Lupe's members and leaders have shown a great deal of interest in helping dreamers. They are a caring and successful student organization. Congratulations, Lupe. Moving on to the next award is the event of the year award. So the recipient of this will be a registered student organization that sponsored an event that promoted social interaction among students. So the nominations for this award was BC Choir for the Building Bridges in the World, BC Choirs Celebrate Gandhi, the Consent Project with the Project Consent Panel, the Japanese Culture Club for the JCC gaming events, the Student Nursing Association for student nurses on the front lines, the Veterans Club for VetFest, and Youth Empowerment Success for Dear America. The recipient of this award goes to the Student Nursing Association for student nurses on the front lines. So the nominator for this award wrote that it goes without saying that these students have gone above and beyond to save the world. They have stepped up in ways only few have done and they are showing exactly what they are made of during these trying times. Our future looks very bright with them. Congratulations. The next student organization award is the student organization of the year. So the recipient of this award will be a strong registered student organization that is organized, active, and maintains strong membership. This organization continually strives to increase its impact and influence on the campus community. The nominations for this award included the Agriculture Club, the Consent Project, the Japanese Culture Club, Latinos Unidos por Educación, the Ethics Bowl Club, and the Pre-Law Club. 
The winner for this award was the Consent Project. So the Consent Project has been an active member in the ICC, the Interclub Council, and they have been holding many events to show their message and their mission. They constantly show up in, num in numbers and are willing to help anyone and everyone. This is a strong club with a very bright future. Thank you, Consent Project. And the last student organization award is the Outstanding Student Organization Advisory Award. So the candidate for this award is a faculty or staff member that goes above and beyond their expectations as an advisor, is an integral part of the, of the organization and shows dedication to the mission of the organization. So the nominations for this award included Patrick Adderhold for the Engineering Club, Jonathan Brown, the advisor of the Math Club, Tracy Hill and Shay Flores, the advisors for the Student Nursing Association, Brenda Valadez, the uh, advisor for Latinas Unidas, Manuel Rosas for Latinos Unidos por Educación, Karen Young Gomez for the Consent, Consent Project. And this award goes to Tracy Hill and Shay Flores for the Student Nursing Association. Um, the nominator for these two wrote that these two have guided their students to help all of us in need. They are so involved and in tune with their students and truly set a standard that all advisors should meet. They are the base to a very strong foundation that is the Student Nursing Association. Thank you, you guys. And that concludes the Student Organization Awards. All right, I'm going to try this again. Is my uh, volume working all right? No echoes or anything, right? Looks good. All right, I'm not getting anybody yelling at me. So once again, thank you so much for everything uh, for there. I'll see a little couple of comments uh, that I didn't want to stall up uh, before during the uh, leadership awards. Uh, each of the leadership awards recipients receive a medallion, the BCSGA seal of uh, renegade medallion to be worn uh, and to be kept with an engraved, uh, with their engraved award name and uh, year of graduation on the back. All our student organization uh, awards, each of them receive a plaque with their student organization name and their, um, uh, your um, and their nominating uh, factor on there. So just a couple of those things. Uh, we will have those out and ready to mail out within the next week or so. So keep an eye out on the mail for that. All right, so the next award that we will be presenting is our final award of the ninth. Uh, and this is the Samuel W. McCall Award, Outstanding Professor of the Year Award. This award is given annually to a Bakersfield College faculty member who has been nominated and selected by students. This award spotlights the college's super teachers. All finalists are outstanding faculty in their own right and, and present the many, many fine faculty members who can be found in every department across our campus. This, uh, the award is, uh, the recipient is voted upon through the student body during the BCSGA spring general election, meaning the recipient of this award uh, is approved by the full student body. Also, the recipient of this award will be the graduation speaker for 2020 and will be on a tight headline to write out a graduation speech and have it ready for us. This year's finalists are Fabiola Butcher, Professor of Communication, Christine Cruz Boone, Professor of Communication, Olivia Garcia, Associate Professor of History, Timothy Hensley, Associate Professor of Music 
Marking Arts Director. Scott Peake, Professor of Biology. Elizabeth Rodacker, Professor of EMLS. Juan Rodriguez Ramirez, Assistant Professor of Mathematics. Chris Tyner, Associate Professor of Music, Jazz Ensemble Director. Brent Wilson, Assistant Professor of Physics. Ronnie Rest, Associate Professor of Art. Just like to take a quick moment and say thank you to all our uh, professors here. Bakersfield College could not thrive and be vibrant uh, without all of you. Uh, for the 2020 Samuel McCaw Professor of the Year Award, the award goes to Professor Olivia Garcia of history. Congratulations, Professor Garcia. We'll be in touch about how you can do your graduation speech. Thank you very much for everyone else. All our faculty across the home of the renegades deserves an amazing round of applause. While we can only recognize a few, many, many of them do so much for our campus, for our students. They lead the way for so much of our time. Now we'll go on to the next slide. Oh, okay. Well, that ends this uh, ceremony this year. Just a couple of things before we all leave. Uh, congratulations to everyone, all our uh, nominees, all our um, recipients thank you so much for an amazing year we only have a couple of weeks left of school and it's so great to end this year still being able to honor our students our faculty our staff there's so many people that make bakersville college the greatest community college in the world and i am proud to be a part of our renegade family I'd like to Definitely send a great shout out to the Office of Student Life, staff, students, and the student government officers for an enjoyable and amazing year. This has been great time, especially this semester through our transition. If you all take the time to really thank your student government officers, the student life uh, student employees, as well as Benny Balderrama, Arizia Pimentel, and Danielle Harris, for all their hard work this year. I know we all would be doing so much and they take so much time out of their day to make sure that our campus is still vibrant in a virtual reality. Once again, thank you everybody for joining us today. And we look forward to what brings, comes next, whether we meet again virtually or in person or in passing. Thank you for being part of the home of, home of the renegade. And as always, once, we're, once you're a renegade, you're always a renegade because we are BC. And you can unmute yourself at this one. We are BC. 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 We are BC. We are BC. Come on, BC. BC. Congrats, everybody. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, Olivia. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy your night. Bye bye. Thank you, Kelly, as well, for the captioning.
All right, Benny, I think we're all done, right? I think so. Great.